Hi, I'm Patrick, the laundry evangelist. Um, one of the stains that more people ask me about than just about any other is red wine. And, you know, you just have to be brave and don't panic. Um, if you come to my house and you spill red wine, the only thing I'm going to do right then is pour you another glass. Um, red wine is not scary. It is an easy stain to remove as long as you know what to do. But in the moment, enjoy your party, enjoy whatever, and then come back to it. I have a friend who always says, it's not a party until somebody spills the wine. So really, it might as well happen and you get it over with. So this is a red wine stain. Um, I've done this on a white cotton handkerchief. I like to use white cotton handkerchiefs to show you stains because they're more absorbent than probably anything in your house. So if the stain will come out of a white cotton handkerchief, it's gonna come out of anything you have. So what I've done here is this stain is actually dry. I um, poured the wine on here this morning. Don't tell my better half I used the wine for this, but I did. Poured the wine on this morning and then I let it dry because you know, everybody at home would be blotting it with club soda or white wine or, I don't know, people have all this witchcraft around red wine and really there's no point. So what you need is some bleach alternative. You take some bleach alternative and you go into hot water. So we're gonna just do it. So it's about a cap full. I can just, I've done this enough, I'm just gonna measure it, but it's really a cap full, I promise. So it's a cap full of bleach alternative into some hot water, and then we're gonna stir it in. And we're gonna start with the horsehair brush because you know you can't do anything in laundry without the horsehair brush. The horsehair brush is like, you know, the most magical thing to ever happen. So we've just stirred that in, and then we're just gonna take this stain, this stain, we're gonna gather it up just like it was, and we're gonna go in. And it's done. Now, what you're gonna to say to me is, Patrick, it turned bright blue. It was purple, now it's blue. Well, it is. Um, it's blue because of a chemical reaction. But what's great is, the blue washes out of the handkerchief. The red didn't. So you take this, if you want me to prove it, I'll do it. We're gonna lay it on the cloth that I always use for such things. Hit it, soak. And we're just gonna rub a little bit. And actually, it's gonna be hard for you to see because the color's not real dramatic. Do you see the middle? The middle's not as blue as the edges. That's where the, that's where the color's coming out. You drop this in the washing machine, it's gonna come out completely. I'm not gonna stand here and scrub this whole thing because you don't need to watch that. You have, there are other things on YouTube to see. So that's how you remove red wine. Um, the same trick that works for red wine would work for like au jus or it would work um, for grape juice. Um, anything that's sort of got that dark acidity. Um, but bleach alternative and then just launder as normal. It's gonna come out every single time. If you do it on upholstery, because red wine on upholstery, then what you wanna do is you wanna do this. You want to then take a sponge or a towel and just blot it all out and it'll be just fine. It's super easy. If you have any questions, you can always call me at the store. It's 952-854-5181. And again, I'm Patrick, the Laundry Evangelist. Thanks, have a great day. For more Laundry Salvation, you need to comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe, and you'll get laundry tips every week from the Laundry Evangelist.